Hi and welcome to this video of the HMS Montrose moored up in, on the Ferry Den side of Montrose Harbour. July 2018 and as you can see she's quite a ship. <laughs> a bit of black and white there, it just looks better. And on the stern you'll see the great and the good. This was before the public opening. All local dignitaries and so on and so forth. I wasn't invited, no idea why. Probably didn't know I was there in Montrose. And I wouldn't invite me to a party either. But there seemed to be plenty booze going around and the great and the good would enjoy themselves. <laughs> I suppose this is the two togs, in fact I know it is now. There's one from Aberdeen and one from Dundee that accompanied the battleship and got it into the harbour in a safe position. And later on in the video you'll see them dragging it out <laughs> or getting it out. Uh, quite a job I should think and the, the pilot has to be on board as well so this one is the Corringham from Dundee, as you can see on our side there. And this should lead us into HMS Montrose, eventually, when I swing around far enough. Yep, there's the helicopter hanging off the back, so... And there's some of the staff of the crew on board. I should think it keeps them busy, all this public appearances thing. <laughs> she's named after the Duke of Montrose, hence why she's here and in harbour. And you can tell by all the bits and pieces she's well geared up. She just had a massive refit. I don't know what everything does, I know what the front thing does, it's a gun. <laughs> and here we are getting her out. You see a lady and her dog watching the the performance. It's very difficult. It, it took two tugs and later on in the video you'll see what looks like a very, very near incident. But bearing in mind perspective, and I'm using an 800mm lens in places, they probably weren't as close as they looked. But the crew were certainly diving about on board HMS Montrose as though they were very close. <laughs> I can't say. I can only tell you what I can see on the video, which you'll see. This is one of the tugs easing her bow out, as you can see. You can't see the other tug, but it's doing its thing. And that's the tug sort of leaning <laughs> a little bit on the Montrose, keeping it straight for where the deepest water is. The pilot's on board, so he would know. And she's making quite good headway in the harbour, just chugging along there. And it's that one there you've got to have a look out. Bear in mind HMS Montrose could be 30 feet away, but look. The crew are darting around. I've closed in to let you see. And look, it's going astern. So to me, that would mean... <laughs> a bit of a cock up <laughs> I don't know it just looked that way to me I think I would be putting it in the incident book and blaming it on the tugs and there's the tug coming close in probably casting off now the ship yeah and the captain's probably said you got me too near that last boat you can sod off <laughs> there we go you'll see the line go slack it it sort of gives the HMS Montrose a bit of a nudge. <laughs> Bear in mind the tugs covered with, with rubber tyres on the front to do this with. And you can see the little boat on the other side there. That will be, I should think, yes it is, that's the pilot. Now you see the tugs just nudged Montrose and now she's going astern. And there's her being cast off. So now Montrose is under her own sp 
uh, engines on their own power. And that's pretty cool as well. The pilot boat will follow her out. There's that yellow ship it got close to last time, but it's not close this time. Those yellow arrows pointing up aren't saying aim, aim for this ship and hit it. <laughs> and I didn't put them in the water, it's nothing to do with me. And that's her under power again, you can see, and she's getting yeah, a fair filic on and been followed up by the tugs and the pilot boat and everybody's involved. You can see the little pilot boat just gone into shot now, followed by one of the tugs. And then once she clears the harbour mouth and in deep water, one of those tugs will hang a left and go off up towards Aberdeen and the other one will go right and go down towards Dundee. She is a beauty though. For her age. <laughs> but as I said, she had a massive refit. You can go online and look it up. A lot of money spent on her. And I do believe the gun's like controlled from the bridge now or something like that. I'm not sure, you can, there's very little about it, you, you can read as far as technical things, but I wouldn't be surprised. You can see from the way the flag's blowing, there's a, an offshore wind, the wind's blown from land to sea, and pointing the flag that way. And just in the distance there, you can see the famous Skirdiness Lighthouse. HMS Montrose is just in front of it now. Quite a wave she creates here on shore. And there's the Skirdiness coming into view. It is spelt two words, scurdy and ness. Go look them up. <laughs> Some people call it one word, but it isn't. It's two. And there's the pilot boat behind HMS Montrose. And once they're clear, the pilot will jump onto his own little boat. There's one of the tugs that'll either turn left or right as you look at it. That one's going to Dundee, so that's definitely going to go to the right <laughs> as we look at this photo. Yeah, and the other one in the shot will go to the left once it clears the Annet Bank, which is the moving sands. Hence why the pilot's got to be on board. Now HMS Montrose will also go off to the right in the shot. And this scurdiness again in the background with the old signal tower just down to the right hand side. And there's the pilot boat breaking around. Or breaking away for now. And then back in again. Having to reposition to pick the pilot up. And you got all four ships and boats in the shot there, including a few seagulls. And here's the pilot coming back in. He's not hanging about. <laughs> they don't go slow, these pilots. <laughs> They're a bit like pilots in the sky. You can't go slow. A nice shot there with a pilot coming in, scurdy ness, and a tower to the right of the shot.
And as you can see with the bow wave, the skipper is not hanging around. <laughs> And that's your lot. Hope you enjoyed it. And they left in July, two days after they arrived. Thanks for watching. This is a night shot. Bye. Cheerio the new Jimmy.